world is when you do the right thing for the wrong reason. When you do the right thing, but you have the wrong motive. What's up, OCBF family? Uh, we just got done with our first man church of the fall, talking about Disciples Unleashed, and our specific topic was motives for tonight. And so let's talk about it. So first, guys, I want you to introduce yourself, your name, and then tell me, uh, before you became a disciple of Jesus, what was your why for living? Well, uh, my name is Chris. Uh, that's a good question. I was raised in the church, so I always knew of the Lord and like the right things to do. But really before I grew in my faith and more seriously followed Christ, it was just selfishness. It was just in it for me. You know, do what feels good, do what feels right. A lot of the trappings of the world, trying to be successful, trying to make a name for yourself. You know, that's very attractive, especially for a young man. You know, wanting to be somebody, wanting to leave your mark on the world. But ultimately, it's just, it's just for you. It was just for me. Yeah, same. That, same, I can relate to that. Um, I was living for self instead of living for the Savior. So, what else? My name is Robert. Um, the way I was living before I became a disciple, was self. I wanted to do yeah. me. Yeah. I wanted to go out when I wanted to go out, come in when I wanted to come in, not answer to nobody yeah. until he called me. So when he called me, I was like, all right, that's enough. Yeah, and so I just chose to stay faithful to him after that. Right. So you weren't a necessarily a people pleaser. You were a self pleaser. Yeah. You were just living for yourself living for me. instead of living for God who created us. Um, and so sound like that's a, a common struggle with men. What about what about you? Quailin. Um, I was a ship without a rudder. Um, lust of the eyes, lust of the flesh and the pride of life. You know, just living for self, like these gentlemen said, just, you know, really not thinking about <clears throat> what really mattered, you know, what was important, living for the moment. Yeah, so yeah, I'm sure it's a common struggle, not just with men, but with humans in general. We selfish we just live for self and so has there any has there ever been a time in your life where you did something for attention to, to just be seen by people uh, can you think of any moment any situation circumstance whether you were young or where you're at now in life where you did something because you wanted to gain attention from people oh 100 percent yeah okay. oh 100 <laughs> percent especially as a young man i mean man yeah. back in the day in the in the 90s when i had my silk shirt on i thought i was so fly <laughs> okay you know going to the school dance like it was all for the yeah. for the attention of young ladies it wasn't trying to honor god i was trying to you know look fresh and trying to style and profile you know so it, it wasn't you know putting the lord first and seeking to walk in his ways again it was just you know trying to look good yeah. or even playing sports sometimes it's like you know you, you want to do well in football and you know you want to catch the pass but you also want to look to the sideline to see who's looking a little right, bit you right. know yeah, so yeah. Yeah. yeah you see that all right yeah 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 mine it was when he called me and i was glorifying myself because he called me mm -hmm. i had a sense of entitlement mm -hmm. that you called me you need me mm. but instead of sitting back and paying attention like you said self-examine yourself mm -hmm. And one day I, I prayed the way David prayed, search my heart, Lord. Mm -hmm. yeah. Search my heart. If anything offends you, take it from me. Yeah. And as I continue to pray that way, it became more about him mm -hmm. and not myself. Mm -hmm. So I just learned to remove myself every day, every morning that I wake up to honor him and to yeah. give everything back to him. It's good, man. And it's a, it's a daily decision. Yeah. It's always a temptation to do things for the wrong reasons. Yeah. Uh, Q, what about you? You ever done something? For attention? <laughs> Never. Yeah, you, you know, prior to your amazing um, sermon this afternoon, <clears throat> I really hadn't thought about it. You know, I don't think I seek attention. I never thought. Yeah. I guess I was in denial, but there's a lot of things like these brothers have <clears throat> shared. You know, I used to have waves, you know, <laughs> back in the day. You know, so, um, you know, just keeping up physical appearances and, you know, striving for things of the world. <clears throat> yeah, I remember. I used to have a 5.0 Mustang. GT. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, I did it for attention. But I think a part of me, I just love the cars, but I think some of it, you know, I just wanted people to, to recognize me for the car I had and stuff like that. So I did it for attention. So uh, what are some other wrong motives that y'all think men struggle with? Because we talked about really one motive, just doing things for attention. But what are some other motives that men may struggle with in this life? 
that you can think of? I think pride is a real big one. You know, it can lead to a lot of bad situations, whether, you know, it's on the job, being too prideful to admit when you've made a mistake, or trying to take the glory from someone else to try to one-up them. You know, in your marriage, not being able to say sorry to your wife or to your kids when you really you were at fault, or, you know, just the pride of life, like wanting that, that Mustang or whatever. You know, like, I like cars too. I've been rocking this minivan for a minute, you know? And, and I love the minivan. Anybody tells you I'm like a minivan evangelist because the insurance is just so low and nobody wants to steal a minivan, right. you know? But there, there are times where I'm like, yeah, I really would like that nice car. Like, it would feel good to do those things. So just one of those things that I think that, you know, you have to keep before the Lord that I need to keep before the Lord is just pride, making sure this is really not just for me and, and self aggrandizement, but it really is about him and what he wants. And, you know, when you need to suck it up and say sorry, you need to say sorry and humble yourself. And I know one of the guys in our group was just mentioning, you know, the problem that we have with, with violence and oftentimes, especially, you know, with, with young men that those triggers that you've disrespected me, it could just escalate very quickly instead of, you know, de-escalating the situation, you know, that's not that serious, you know, you can go ahead instead of, you know, taking it someplace that it doesn't need to be because at the end of the day, it's just the pride within. So I think pride can be a real big one. Yeah, and that's, that's connected to revenge. You know, revenge, they become motivated by revenge to get back, you know, somebody that did something to them. And, that's kind of what's going on in our world today is just revenge over there in the Middle East and all that. And so. then even with, you know, with, when it comes to dating and things like that, just the pride of saying, well, I've dated this amount of, mm. you know, girls and I've done this yeah. and I've that and I'm this yeah. person Man, because these other people yeah. want me, yeah. you know, so there's, there's, I mean, there's just so many different aspects of it. Yeah. What's, what's some other motives y'all could think of? I can say ego. Ego. Oh, yeah. Ego. Good one. You know, when we get too successful or we do things, like you said, when we want people to see. Mm -hmm. Our heads get too big, mm -hmm. and it goes along with pride. Mm -hmm. We don't want to admit when we're wrong. Yeah, because I'm right. I'm here. And you don't. You don't know what I went through to get here. Mm -hmm. So our egos get here, mm -hmm. and it stops us from being that selfless person who we're supposed to be. Yeah, that's that's what I think on those motives. What they need. What we need to let go as men as well. Yeah, and that's man. That's a temptation for me personally because, man, I'm my gift is by nature public. I can't preach to nobody He's preaching yeah. in public. And so I got to be aware. I think what I talked about examining myself, you know, every now and then and having people in my life who are checking in with me to make sure that, hey, why are you doing this? Are you doing it, you know, to, to gain the likes and stuff on Instagram and to gain the attention and stuff yeah. like that? That's the wrong reason. So, yeah, that's definitely, definitely ego and pride and definitely, I think, some common struggles. What, what you think about, about the Q? Uh, envy? Yeah, Ecclesiastes 4 and 4 is like all our toil is mm -hmm. from the envy of, of others, right? Mm -hmm. And so, so natural, um, you know, like I said, pride um, obviously is one, but uh, yeah, envy is, I think, is a big one. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, we want to thank you for joining us for our first Let's Talk About It. We hope to see you again as we continue to grow as Kingdom Disciples.